All right, today we're going to talk about the theoretical probability of an event. So let's start off with some definitions. We've got three definitions here. First is sample space. All right, sample space. Sample space. All right, sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an event. So sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an event. Next one is a simple event. Simple event. A simple event is an event having only one outcome. All right. Last one is theoretical probability. Theoretical probability. All right, the theoretical probability is the ratio of favorable outcomes to all possible outcomes. And that's mainly what we're going to talk about today, is theoretical probability. We want to identify the sample space. Now remember, sample space is a set of all possible outcomes of an event. So we have a number cube, also called a die, or a dice, or it's the plural. All right, a die is labeled 1 through 6. So we have a normal game dice, all right? Now, a number, we want to know what's the sample space of a number less than or equal to 3. Less than or equal to 3. Well, our possibilities, we usually write sample spaces in those brackets. We could have a number 1, we could have the number 2, or we could have the number 3. All right, so that is our sample space. How about an odd number? Our sample space could be 1, could be 3, or could be five. All right. Lastly, a number greater than four. So greater than four, which means it does not equal four. So it could be five or it could be six. So those are our sample spaces. Now we have there are three green marbles, two blue marbles, and eight red marbles in a bag. What is the probability of choosing a red marble? Well, how many red marbles are there? All right, there are eight red marbles. So that eight goes in my numerator, the top number of my fraction. The bottom is the total number of marbles that are in the bag. Well, we have seven, two, and eight. Eight plus two is 10, 10 plus seven is 17. So the probability of choosing a red marble would be eight over 17. How about the probability of not choosing a green marble? Well, there, that means I could choose a blue marble or a red marble, which means there's 10 not green marbles. There are 17 marbles in there. Another way we could solve for this is I could say it's 1 minus choosing a green marble, which you can see equals 17 over 17. If I get a common denominator, minus 7 over 17, which gives me 10 over 17. The reason I can have the 1 here is because all probabilities of everything happening is 1. All right? It'd be, let's say I want to say, what's the probability of drawing a green, blue, or red marble? Well, there's 17 green, blue, and red marbles over 17, which equals 1. So I can take the all possibilities minus the possibility of drawing a green marble. Last problem here. In a bucket, there are 10 balls as follows. 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5, 7, 8, 9, 9. Is there a greater probability of choosing a 5 or a number less than 5? Well, let's find the probability of choosing a 5. There are 3 5s, all right, and 10 different balls. Now let's find the probability of choosing a number less than 5. There are one, two, three numbers that are less than five, and there are ten balls. So the, actually, the probabilities are equal to each other. All right, the probability of a five is equal to the probability of it being less than five. Well, that's all I've got. We'll talk about this more, but hopefully, this is a good start. Uh, I'll be available tomorrow. See ya.